What do you feel when you see this image? A lonely planet, drifting in the vastness of space. Saturn, surrounded by emptiness, just floating there, untouched. There's something unnerving about this image, isn't there? It's not just the planet itself, it's the emptiness surrounding it, the silence, the nothingness. That's astrophobia, the fear of the void. It's simple, but deeply unsettling. This loneliness is all-consuming, a reminder of how vast and isolated the universe truly is. Now, consider that Saturn, this great gas giant, is just one planet amongst billions, in one galaxy amongst hundreds of billions. Space is practically endless, and it's terrifying because it's so so large, so incomprehensibly large, that our minds can't fully grasp it. And yet, here we are, standing at the edge of the void, trying to understand it. Trying to make sense of something so vast that, in many ways, it defies our very understanding of existence. The universe, in its sheer scale, is unfathomable. It's not just big, it's vast beyond measure. Imagine this, the Milky Way galaxy is home to over a hundred billion stars. Now that's just one galaxy. There are hundreds of billions of galaxies, each with countless stars, planets, and mysteries of their own. And yet, this is still only a small fraction of the universe. It's like looking at a grain of sand and trying to grasp the size of the entire beach. Every time we learn more and more about the cosmos, the scale just gets larger. The distances, the expanses, everything seems to stretch farther and farther than we could have imagined. To give some perspective, it takes light, traveling at a mind-boggling speed of 186,282 miles per second, or 300,000 kilometers per second, over 8 minutes to reach Earth from the Sun. That's insanely fast. But the nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is over four light years away. Four years of light traveling at the fastest speed imaginable. And yet, this distance is practically nothing in the vastness of space. The nearest galaxy, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away. To even consider traveling across such a vast distance, well, it's it's something we can't even begin to fathom in human terms. The numbers are just so big, they lose meaning. This immense scale isn't just a number, it's a terrifying reality. We are nothing but a speck in this enormous universe. Think about the planets beyond Earth. In our solar system, there are giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Their atmosphere is swirling in storms. Their pressures and temperatures so extreme that nothing could survive. Neptune and Uranus are icy giants, their frozen winds whipping at speeds far beyond what we can survive. Venus is a planet where the surface is hotter than an oven, and the air is thick with poisonous gas. These are not places for life, at least not life as we know it. And while there are many planets out there somewhere that could support life, nothing comes close to Earth in terms of habitability. Our planet is a rare jewel in the universe, a safe haven surrounded by a hostile cosmos. Even the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is barren, lifeless, and cold. Nothing more than a lifeless rock. If we were to venture out to these other planets, we'd find only inhospitable environments. Places where survival is impossible without the technology to shield us from the environment. We are fragile, and out there, 
or in the cold depths of space, it becomes clear how vulnerable we are. And then, there are black holes. 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 These cosmic monsters, so dense and powerful that nothing, nothing can escape them. Not even light. Black holes bend space and time itself. When you approach a black hole, you experience something called time dilation. It's a terrifying phenomenon that happens because the gravity near the black hole is so intense, it stretches time. To put it simply, time near a black hole moves slower than it does here on Earth. If you were to orbit a black hole, you wouldn't notice it at first. But the longer you stay, the more time would stretch for you. Hours or days for you could become decades or even centuries outside. The universe would continue to age, but you, trapped in the black hole's grip, would hardly feel it. And when you leave, or if you could leave, you'd return to a world that's drastically changed. Friends, family, loved ones, they'd be long gone. Their lives would have moved on while you were frozen in time. The terror of black holes isn't just their crushing gravity. It's the horror of being left behind, alone, as time passes you by. Space is not just vast. It is deeply, profoundly lonely. There's something about the idea of space that fills us with dread, because it's not just about the physical isolation. It's about emotional isolation. Out there in the void, there is nothing. No other people, no sound, just you and the cosmos stretching on forever. If you were out there for long enough, you would begin to feel the terror of that isolation in the pit of your stomach. Time dilation would only make it worse, leaving you feeling as if the world you once knew no longer exists. The fear of losing everything and everyone you care about is a personal terror, one that would haunt you in the quiet silence of space. As time stretches and warps, you would watch as the world outside moves forward while you remain frozen in place. The loneliness of that, knowing that everyone is aging, moving on, and you will never be able to return to the life you knew, is perhaps the most terrifying aspect of all. The universe in all its beauty is also the ultimate source of terror. The immensity of space, the hostile environments of planets, and the terrifying power of black holes all point to a simple truth. We are small. The universe doesn't care about us. It's vast, indifferent, and it moves on whether we are here or not. Astrophobia isn't just the fear of space. It's the fear of being insignificant in the face of such an overwhelming cosmos. It's about the terror of isolation of being lost in time and space, with no one left to help you, no one to share your experiences with. And while the universe can be beautiful, it's also terrifying. Beautiful in its stars, galaxies, endless possibilities, but terrifying because we are alone in it. And that, more than anything, is the true horror. Thank you for watching.